Hello there, Karan here and in this video we are going to talk about an amazing creation named as Chiiko by Rufi and he has been a good friend. He has given us very nice and simple solution to show colorful output on the CMD console. The Chiiko plugin is of only of 9 kilobytes and it is created in C sharp and I will directly show you the demo. Here we have a small demo file which is of 204 bytes. If I double click on the file and uh, you see colorful output on the console. And it is not like yeah, that it was not possible earlier with uh, other plugins like Badbox. I love Badbox anyways. And uh, yeah, you can also manipulate it with the pure batch as well and get colorful output. But what is special in GECO? Let's see the output. Let's see the code uh, of the demo first. And uh, you see, GECO allows you to call it in a single line like bad box. And if I run that again, you see it's multiple line output. But what I have done here is I have only called it once. That means you can do multiple things with a single call. And the good thing is, it is going to print it in normal color and then. Uh, this is the new line character so you can get you can pass tags to this plugin special tags uh, and you need to surround your uh, string by double quotes that's for batch and new line then it changes the line and then this is for red color this will be uh, the entire line will be red color and then we go to the new line again then we have a line in the green color and uh, unless unlike in HTML or something you do not need to close the tags you just need to start them and it the previous one will automatically gets overwrite overwrite this is blue one and uh, this one is to reset the color back to the original one so here we had original color and now here we reset it to back to the original color and uh, then again new line and then this will be printed in the original color as it was earlier in the console so you do not need a plugin to memorize first color that default color of the console this plugin automatically keeps a track of it and that's pretty much impressive stuff that a plugin can do for us and uh, the good thing is and why i like this plugin much is because it's much easier to use uh, as compared to bad box now suppose if i have to write uh, a text in color i need to do this in bad box and uh, I'll write this is an or I will not write at all I will say this is an error message and uh, yeah that's how the code looks like and you can see it looks pretty much cryptic and if the background color is not black this is going to be disaster for my console screen because it's not going to look better here here GECO automatically handles the background color and based on the background color it keeps the background color the same it just changes the console text color and it's very easy to change the color you see just red and no extra tags or switches which saves a lot of time and efforts when we are thinking and then if you want to change it to green just write code for green just write code for blue yeah that's pretty much all how simple it is to use and uh, I'll show you the source as well it's created in C sharp so Rufi has shared all the project files here and I think this is the main file here if I'll open that here let's see the code now so here we are inside the code for this plugin and it is the C sharp plugin and I'm not an expert in C sharp but uh, if you are you can read the code and check for it here is the help menu and here are the codes that you can use in order to show colors you can also use full names but I prefer the small names R W E Y for yellow M for magenta and dark yellow dark red dark magenta dark green and that's pretty much all and it is written by Goofy life 4 and helped by emboson 
So they both have created a very simple but very useful plugin for everyone. And uh, that's uh, pretty much all the C sharp code. And I will not bore you too much with the code here because I I also need to understand it first. But I think they have done a tremendous job and yeah. Feel free to download it from our GitHub and use it in your codes. That's pretty much all from my side. Thank you so much for your time. Consider subscribing and share this video with your friends as well. We need to grow very fast. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.